Hello, my name is Tomasz Ciborowski and I would like to present initial report on electromagnetic inertia propulsion system. The most important goal of a project is to develop a propulsion system which would replace contemporary rocket and ion designs. We know that rocket use a lot of fuel. This propellant is also very explosive. So it possesses a threat to the crew of the spacecraft. What's more, iron design is very inefficient. We can't take off from the ground. If the project succeeds, it will be an innovative new way of traveling in space. This new design will allow exploration of space to the extent we have never been doing before. Eventually, it will allow colonization of near-sky bodies such as the Moon and Mars. Inertial electromagnetic engine has many attractive features and advantages. First of all, it does not require any mass to repel against. That is why I call it inertial engine. It is a closed system. It may work in vacuum, in air, or in water. It is supposed to have much better efficiency than nowadays designs. I estimate that we need 5 watts of power to produce 1 newton of thrust. Another great feature is that it is run by electricity, so we can use solar panels in space. Unfortunately, today solar panels can't deliver enough power to launch a spacecraft into orbit. So we have to use fuel for this. There are other great features. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time to present it here. Currently used engines have many disadvantages. They pollute atmosphere with noise and fumes. They are expensive in use. They are dangerous, as it was mentioned before. They are inefficient. They are mechanical designs susceptible to failures. All these reasons incline to search for new solutions which would be devoid of these problems. There are many attempts. Unfortunately, all of them have been unsuccessful till now. Except one, which is non-mechanical device. Pivotal assumption is it is possible to create closed system where forces do not counterbalance. This new paradigm won't fit in mainstream science. This is because of third law of mechanics, which does not allow for such systems. The problem is that Newton's system assumes that the forces propagate with infinite speed, thus they act instantly. And that is, of course, untrue. We know that forces propagate with finite speeds. This is some sort of breach where time-dependent systems might not follow Newton's laws of mechanics. When does it happen? Well, it might happen when the source of force and receiver were apart in space and thus there is a delay between creation and force and act of it. From my work and unsuccessful attempts of other researchers, I assume that the mechanical device won't work. That is why I propose to use electromagnetics. The point is to send magnetic pulse towards a receiver and change the transmitter's state to avoid returning impulse of force. In order device to work, magnetic field must have special property. Magnetic field vector must point only in one direction. There is another trick here. Magnetic field produced by engine, for example by coil, is external with relation to this engine. So the engine produces magnetic field, which in turn acts on it, producing thrust. Work on inertial system began in 1995. The first stage was mainly theoretical work. The second stage began 
In 2000, I've tried to build mechanical devices. They didn't work as at other researchers. Since December of 2006, I've begun to work on electromagnetic system. A lot of work has been done and here are the results. Current state is as follows. The most important hypothesis has been tested and successfully confirmed. High frequency magnetic field can rotate permanent magnet. In non-uniform field it will push or pull it in, producing thrust. Currently I am trying to build a device which would allow to observe levitation. Now I am looking for somebody who would help. I don't have bountiful lab. I am not electronic engineer either. That is why any attempt of building such a device is a big feat. If you like that project and would like to contribute, please contact me.